According to the Dalai Lama, happiness is the purpose of life. It's within our reach for everyone, no exceptions. Well, a new book acts as a guide to achieving that birthright. Let's welcome Amy Newmark, author of Chicken Soup for the Soul, 10 Keys to Happiness. She is also the editor-in-chief and publisher of the Chicken Soup for the Soul book series, 182 new books since 2008. It is a delight to have you with us. Oh, well, thank you so much. I get tired just hearing about 182 <laughs> books. We've got to talk about that at some point, but congratulations on your latest book. So tell us a little bit more about why you decided to write this particular book, why this subject matter was an inspiration to you. This is a real passion project for me because I've been doing this job for 14 years. I've been so privileged to have read tens of thousands of personal revealing stories from people where they share their best tips and advice and wisdom about how you should live your life, how you can be happier. So I wanted to compile all of that wisdom, which I've been using in my own life. I wanted to compile it for our readers, and that's why I put together your 10 keys to happiness. And one of those stories is actually a local tale. Is that not correct? Absolutely. So. One of our keys to happiness is to do for others, because in doing for others, you feel so much richer yourself. And Miriam Van Scott, who's from Mount Pleasant, wrote a story about a woman she knew who was depressed until she did some acts of kindness for a woman at her mm -hmm. church, and that turned her own life around. Isn't that something? And amongst the 10, would you say that that's one of the most important ones is to do for others as opposed to doing for yourself, that that is a key to happiness? It is, and it plays into one of my other keys to happiness, which is to always count your blessings, yeah. because it's when you're mindful of the good in your life that you don't focus on whatever you lack in your life. So that's a really important key to happiness. One more key to happiness that I think is essential is using the power of forgiveness. It frees you to move forward. Mm -hmm. Which I know is very difficult for a lot of people, and myself included, you know, you, you've had those moments, but it is true, once you've done that internally, you do for yourself of those chains of, it's a burden on your psyche, on your emotional health. Yeah, we had a great story from a woman named Lynn Sunday who was so mad at her ex-husband even years after the divorce that it was ruining her life. And her best friend said to her, you might as well still be married to the man. You take him yeah. with you wherever you go. And that was an epiphany for Lynn. Isn't she stopped something? doing that and she finally moved forward. She freed herself. That's amazing. Well, let's talk a bit about the series, Chicken Soup for the Soul. We have seen for years that title on store shelves, bookstore shelves, libraries, everywhere. And it came into play first in 1993, but then you resurrected it in 2008. So can you tell us a bit more about that journey? Oh, sure. The funny thing is I was a Wall Street person and a finance person and a corporate executive. And now here I am, editor in chief of Chicken Soup for the Soul, writing these books. And it's been fabulous for me. I mean, talk about pursuing your passion and doing something that's meaningful. Yeah. And so I've been working on these books since 2008, and we never run out of fabulous new topics. But this particular one, Your 10 Keys to Happiness, really synthesizes everything that I have learned in these 14 years into one volume. Now that you've come out with this book, 10 Keys to Happiness, what is next for you? Oh my gosh, so many great books. Right now, I'm in the final days of editing a book called Miracles and the Unexplainable. It's coming out this fall. It will give everybody chills when they read it. That's, that's incredible. I can't wait to see that. Really loving this 10 Keys to Happiness. I want to thank you so much, Amy, for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. Good to talk to you. We're back after this.